Ladies and gentlemen and everything in between, this is Foog, and welcome back, finally, hopefully, to Let's Play Grandia 2. This uh, very, very long overdue episode is brought to you by Windows Corruption, Hard Drive Reformatting, Hard Drive Failure, and Non-Financial Support by viewers like you. Thanks for nothing! When we last left off, we, uh, we visited the engineer's house. So sorry, you guys are being such a brat. We visit the engineer's house, and uh, that was about it. We learned that everybody in this place, um, there's nothing to do in here. Oops, uh, everybody in this this town here uh, is unable to eat food like normal folks. Um, maybe not unable, but whenever they eat, it's like eating sand, which is wonderful. I really like thinking about that eating sand. Delicious. So you know what I'm gonna do? Ruffle your papers. Because you eat sand! Knock over your beer! <laughs> uh, so anyway, it's you know, I realized earlier today at work that it's been pretty much over a month. In fact, I think it has been over a month since my last recording. I feel ashamed of that, but there have been so many problems. I've, I've dubbed this summer, summer of 2013, the summer when everything broke, including my recording capacity. Or capabilities, whichever. So this is Gadon. He's fat. And he wears glasses. Except for in his little picture here. You'll notice he's not wearing glasses. And he's got derpy eyes. So, here we go. Oh, and this is where the game freezes, so... <laughs> Whatever. Delicious! Derpicious! Well, well. I haven't seen you around here. Something I can do for you? I heard you aren't letting anyone on the Skyway. I'm here to change your mind. Yes, we are not letting anyone on right now. This is a vital time for business. Caring people drops our efficiency. I'll make it worth your while. And I'm getting... I'm getting... <laughs> okay. Uh, back in the game. Jeez. Um, ah, I didn't notice you had a sister with you. She must be headed to Greenwich Cathedral, hmm? Well, more business. How much do you want? 10,000 gold pieces should cover my cost. I'm not sure if I should... <laughs> that was disgusting. Uh, deal. Let's go. Ah, not so quickly, my friend. The last tram has already left. But do not fret. Another will be available come tomorrow. Can't leave today, huh? Then... Obviously, you can still stuff yourself with food! Why do you not share your secret with the townsfolk? Elena, hush! A strange thing to say, my sister. Do you imply that my health is something less than virtuous? That I should suffer as well? Well, no. Ah, but I too am troubled by this cause. My employees are all stricken, which is hardly good for business. And with no cure, I'm spitting all over my screen. <laughs> is that so? Even then, I'm amazed you can eat so much. Perhaps the others have thinned before Greneth. Perhaps I alone remain blessed. Who can fathom the mind of God? Ah, dear delicious. I highly doubt that's the case. What are you doing? Nodding to yourself? <laughs> Dear sister, you smell quite nice. Were you aware that smell and taste are interrelated? Uh, yeah, he wants to lick you. Disgusting. What? It's absolutely nasty. He seems healthy enough. En <laughs> enough? <laughs> Although I do question his taste in women. Hm. How can you remain so smug and impertinent while others starve about you? I would watch my words, were I you. I pay my workers generously. This problem is none of my doing. The townsfolk would do well to thank me for seeing to bring prosperity to this town. Dude, you're just nasty. Look, his tongue is slobbering all over his face, including his glasses. Just nasty. How could such a thing have happened? Indeed, this town was known by many to have been touched by the hand of Greneth. Perhaps he does not wish to soil his hands any further. 
But I'm no expert. You should inquire within the church outside of town. Oh, but my, you do smell fine, my dear sister. A sweet, derplicious peach. <laughs> Ugh, that's even bothering me to do that. Tomorrow, then. You got all the way to bad boy! Bad boy! Before we leave, look at this statue. It is just horrid. It's just gargantuan old fat man drinking what I imagine is a flagon or whatever you want to call it of wine or booze, beer, whatever, and a mace which has apparently been shattered on one side. I mean a leg of lamb. Or pork. Or beef. Whatever we're leaving, I hate you, Gadan. Or Gay Dan. Gadane. Whatever you're called. Stupid. Gah. Fat man. What a disgusting man! Yes, he is. Uh, I totally agree. I wouldn't know. Well, I would. <laughs> Trust. That Gadad's appetite is incredible! It's almost unnatural! But I am more worried about the money we have to pay tomorrow. He's working us. We'd better start digging in our couches for change. Why don't we just waste him? That's why I like you, Sky. Always thinking. Uh, Ryudo, like it or not, we do have a sister at our party. But, Ryudo, we have to do something for these townspeople. If they are really blessed by Lord Grannis, how could this happen to them? It's called, well, hold on. Like that man said just now, we should ask the father at the church. Are we in a hurry to get you to the cathedral or not? We don't have time for your church girl routine. This town, everything, it is terrible. I just cannot ignore those in need. Well, ah, jeez, whoa. <laughs> I'm sorry about that. That sounds terrible. Look, princess, we don't need any more trouble than we already have. Please, Mr. Udo. We cannot leave until tomorrow anyway. What's wrong with just going to the church? Ah, shut your damn yap, kid. This is not a stroll to the altar, and we're not in the bloody church choir. I'm sick of all this. Ah. I, I am sorry, but still. Still your tongue. Ticking me off. Don't be so quick to apologize. Come on. Let's find the church. And... Uh, will wonders never cease? Do miracles happen? Maybe they do. The recording is still going. And it's been well over and past what I'm used to seeing the recording go to before it crashes and freezes and... I think it's fixed! I think it's fixed! <laughs> oh, don't, don't do that. I just watched the frame rate drop. I'm like, it's gonna crash! It's so, it seems to be working still. I'm having a panic attack because I'm just waiting for this thing to not work. I, I mean, I'm serious. Okay, before we talk to this guy and continue with the story, I can't even count. Well, I mean, I can. I can count rather high. I mean, like, you know, 12 is high. But <laughs> I can't count the many times I've tried to do this recording and it's frozen or broken or something has gone wrong. And so this is probably around the 20th attempt I've made or something like that. I just, I stopped counting because I was like, this is stupid. And now it's working. So that makes me happy. My, you're an unusual sight. It's been so long since anyone has needed anything from the church. What are you doing here? Praying to Grannis? I don't think so. I got tired and passed out while working. And when I woke up, here I was. That was a strange voice I just did. Moving on! I don't even know what to think of that one. It's just really bad. May I help you, my dear travelers? Father, we have come with a question. Why is my voice so crappy? Ah, I see that you too are one who serves Lord Grannis. Father, what has happened to this town, to these people? Ah, this is a question that troubles me as well. I do not know what has befallen us. Some say that the face of Lord Grannis has turned from us, but still, I do not believe it. Yes, I've heard this tale. There are those in town who say they have lost the blessing of Grannis. Pretty unreliable for a deity. 
you want to keep your job as Supreme Overlord, you should keep your naughty nice list straight. Ryudo, shut your face! <laughs> your face, your face. I don't quite get this blessing stuff. That one lard butt looked pretty damn blessed to me. About 200 pounds more blessed than anyone else around here. I mean, yeah, look at this breeze. Even his cheeks look really thin. Ah, uh, you must mean Mr. Gadan. He too has changed. He was once a good man, loved by all. But then he began to change. He began to become obsessed with wealth and riches and with uh, nutrition as well, the fatty. And as I recall, this occurred roughly around the same time that our current misfortunes befell us. People deal with depression differently. Some sleep, others write, others suck food down their throats like garbage chutes. But what would that have to do with the townspeople not being able to eat? I don't know. Father, forgive my companion's lack of tact, but I too wonder why this town is known to be blessed by Grannis. Of course. Please go upstairs. You will see the truth for yourselves from above. As long as we're not seeing the truth from behind, if you... <coughs> yeah, I mean, I'm stopping. I'm, st I'm sorry. I mean, I'm being offensive this this episode between making fun of fat people and priests or whatever they are. This guy doesn't really look like a pastor or a reverend. He's more like a sort of Catholic thing going on here, except you know, semi-futuristic or just fantasy fantasy style. Not future. What are you talking about, Fu? You're you're insane. And by the way, before this next little bit, you know, I don't mean to just make fun of people who who feel they're overweight. I myself need to lose some weight. And um, I, I realize that's uh, it's not cool when people call you fat. But in this game, that guy weighs about 800 pounds, and that's not cool. If you weigh 800 pounds, well, well, I imagine you're dead. <laughs> but moving on, moving on. Holy crap! Oh, that's right. I gotta talk to this guy first. Jeez, I'm an idiot. <laughs> Please look. You can see the whole town from here. And why did everything turn white all of a sudden? That's strange. Hmm. And uh, man, there's some V-Sync issues right over here. Your town has some serious V-Sync problems. Is that is that the issue? This whole blessing of Granis due to a lack of V-Sync? I mean, dang, can you guys see the screen tearing? Can, can you see how bad the screen is tearing? Or does that have, just have to do with the recording? I, I can't say I know. I, I think it might have to do with the uh, window or emulation I'm using. Those pillars, they look to be part of a bunch of dookie. And they do look kind of like poop. Well, maybe not. You're more gray. It's rock, whatever. They are said to be the ruins of a temple. They were severely damaged when the town was rebuilt, but Mr. Gadan says that they're still not sufficiently destroyed. Now, uh, that's concerning. If you'd think, well, that must be a holy ruins site, and Mr. Gadan's trying to destroy it? I see, so this town was built at the ruins of an old temple of Gratis. That is why this town is blessed. But those pillars have a strange shape, as if there was something at the center. Hmm, interesting point. As if something were buried. Now that you mention it, I've heard of an excavation at the base of the pillars. The pillars run deep, too deep to be removed. I'm not liking what I'm hearing. Epic music! What do you think, Elena? Sound familiar? Ruined temple? Burial mound? Unholy piece of Valmar sealed up inside? Like Garmia Tower! It cannot be! Valmar! Her eyes get freaky when she makes that face. I, I, I have not heard of such a thing. Terrific. Then we can be on our way. Hold, Ryudo. The suffering of the townspeople may be a result of the breaking of a seal. We must investigate this bad text speed. Whoa there, Gumshoe. I don't recall hunting down reawakening God of Evil as being part of my job description. Saving those in need is the duty of those who follow Grannis. She is angry. I will not ignore my duty, Ryudo. Ryudo. <laughs> Ryudo. And I most certainly will not ignore these people. We must aid them. Oh, you're just being stubborn. Let's try to be rational here. One, I'm not being paid. B, I mean two, I mean, I repeat that. I am not being paid. 
C. Granis should be more than able to take care of Valmar without us. And five, you need to get to the cathedral as soon as possible. What just happened? No! Screensaver! Why is my screensaver popping up? Yeah. Riano, please! I can't re ignore. Blah blah blah, they're suffering! <laughs> if I do, I might as well never take another step toward the cathedral. <sighs> Don't say it! She will not be moved then. Very well. I will help them by myself. Uh, I'll have to protect you, of course. Grab your face! Stop it with a self-righteous expression. Come on, make a nice face for me. Your face, your face. <laughs> Let's see if I can do this here. What are you doing? Cut that out. That's awesome. I just, I just love that little image there. That's just so ridiculous. We'll check out the ruins, but tomorrow, tomorrow we take the Skyway. No matter how many kittens are stuck in trees. Oh, Ryudo. Oh, don't get mushy on me now. Ugh. Father, you've spoken of ex- of them. <laughs> I can't read today! It's because of how many times I've done this recording, I'm sure. Father, you spoke of an excavation. Yes, but take caution. No one has been permitted to explore the ruins. There is much danger. Thank you, Father. Rudo, let us depart. One more thing. Apparently. Oh, Father, I have had terrible dreams of late. In them, I am haunted by darkness. Does this mean that my soul is weak? No, it means your text speed is incorrect, and you should speed it up or make it more consistent, sister. Don't allow darkness to have a doorway to your heart. A strong soul resists bad text speeds. Carry yourself accordingly. And try to make some sort of settings in your video games that allows you to adjust the text speed from now on. Thank you very much. Father, may you be blessed by Lord Grannis. The same to you, O oh songstress of Grannis. Don't say it. <laughs> anyway. Let's get this over with. We don't have room for any more of these roadside attractions in our itinerary. Oh, Mr. Yudo! And we're gonna call it an episode. Joe, you, it's freaking messed up. Look at this. They're inside of my body. I don't want people to be in. Who's beeping out there? I don't want people inside my body. Well, it looks like the recording worked this time. So, uh, ladies and gentlemen, and everything in between, uh, I am, I am flabbergasted. I'm, I'm boom toggle. I'm bupkis, and I'm back. And the recordings are going to recommence from here on, henceforth. And it's going to work from now on, I swear. Well, I, I don't really want to do that. But we're going to try to make things work from now on. Until then, until next time or whatever, ladies and gentlemen and everything in between, this is Foog saying, thank God and take it easy. Yes! It works! Oh, <laughs>